So the dead tree is going to be felled and they've placed timber between there and there and they want the tree to fall between those timbers so that it won't fall on all these young cherry and hazel seedlings. See this young cherry tree. I want them to grow into the light that this tree is going to give once it's completely felled. So. He's being very careful in assessing where it's going to fall. There's also the telephone line is right there on the other side of the tree. Checking his directional cut for the way he wants the tree to fall is what he's doing now.
You want a wedge? Blew that out trying to get it so that you could see what he's doing. The trick is to not allow it to spin when it's falling. There we go! Woo! Skills, my friend, skills! Slightly off, but that's not bad. Good job. One guy. That's okay. Only one of all the baby seedlings. And there's a good new hole in here. I can plant a new seedling in it. I have baby um I have baby horse chestnuts so that'll work. But Janie Mac, you can see the rot. So you didn't quite get it where you wanted it to, but still, skills. You didn't get the phone line. Jesus, look at that rot. Oh no, that's the bottom of the seed of the nest. This is the nest that all the uh, crows were fighting over every spring. But that's, that's well rotted wood and sticks well. and bird shit. Oh, sorry, here, there's a big nest. See, there's a big nest in here. So that's, this is the um, bottom part, which means up there it goes probably a lot deeper. You never know what you find in there. No, exactly. Yeah, because they're building a nest. Yeah, good question. Is there still an edge on the saw with all that grit? Kind of, not really. I'd say not really. By the look of that grit, you kind of took the edge off. Well, the next bit will be easy. Er. <laughs> 